as we'll send you cross town to our studios here in Orlando and check in with the coach at our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Things definitely getting interesting around the NFL as we begin the month of December. So let's get right to it. We'll start up in the Steel City, Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. And the Patriots have the lead in the final stages before halftime. Corey Davis, a touchdown reception. Next, we'll head over to check on the Giants at home at MetLife Stadium. And they trail that one over the visiting Green Bay Packers. Cam Newton, four touchdown passes. Lastly, let's get out to Jacksonville. See what's happening with the Jaguars at TIAA Bank Field. And this one going the visitor's way as the Texans have the lead in that one. The Texans trying to gut this one out as it would be a good victory for them if they could get it. In our game has been Aaron Rodgers, who was on target in the first half. He's thrown for nearly 300 yards already as we get you back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. Oh, nice spin. Oh, that brought back bad memories. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Rodgers now on first down. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. McCaffrey on the counter. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. On first down, Rodgers. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Zoom, zoom. Na, na, na. 258. Now Rodgers. Being chased out left. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Now, he's been a busy man out of the backfield. They've looked his way quite a bit so far in this game. Nice job there defensively, though, adjusting, because a couple of his earlier catches, he was wide open, not that time. You mentioned the key word, adjustment. A better cover man on him now in space. To throw is Rodgers. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get him to fourth down. Fair to say the secondary play, whichever side you're on, hasn't really been a glowing exhibition so far, but a nice job there to prevent a long completion. I agree with you, but at some point, someone had to make a play and try and stop this exhibition of almost speed racing that we've been watching, huh? Yeah, it has been quarterback and receiver dominated. And they'll go with the ground attack here. And he'll take this one only up to about the 21. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, hit them over the top. And they'll run it here. So he got three and one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Just a couple on the pick up there, and now it's third down. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Ready! Move in! Where's that? Where's it go? Where's that? 
From the shotgun, it's Winston. And able to find Green. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. They give him a gain of 38. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And on the ground they go with running back. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. So where did all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Now a second down throw for Winston. And Green with a catch left side. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. The offense on third down tonight, they're at 50%, four for eight. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Back to the ground, this time with Freeman. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive 
take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Ready, move in. Now Jameis on second down. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. It'll be a three-yard gain, and that'll make it third down. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. Calling no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. And that's one of the few times they've been able to contain him. He's had a heck of a game, and maybe he's getting a little bit tired from how many times he's carried the ball. But I always think back to what all those old coaches say. The ball's not that heavy. Keep carrying it, kid. And Butker able to put this one through. And with that, the lead changes hands here in this third quarter. So it's his third field goal now with a ball game, and they've needed his leg. This last one gives him the lead. It's been a back-and-forth kind of a game, hasn't it? Now you got to tell your defense, guys, we need you to make this stand up because we've got the momentum going in the right direction, but we need you to make sure we carry it home. Aaron Rodgers, he's getting ready to go again here on offense. He's played well. Good first half. He's continued that here in the third quarter. But my question, when you're a head coach, what do you look at stat line-wise for your court? Do you go right to turnovers? You really do. As much as coaches don't want to talk about that, that's where it starts. When I played in college, our first rule for every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. And that's kind of how they judge you. Do you take care of the ball, not turn it over, keep it in the proper hands, and give your team a chance to win? Well, that's what he's done here in this one so far. Here's McCaffrey. Finding some room at midfield. He gets it across the 50 and down to the 48. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Whenever we meet with coaches and they always talk about wanting to establish running the football, it's oftentimes with a good tight end who can control the line of scrimmage and the point of attack, and they're becoming harder to find because the colleges are giving us a whole lot of receiving tight ends from the wide receivers who can run, not necessarily block very well. In this case, though, we saw two tight ends on the field, both of them with the ability to block, and he ran the ball successfully behind that power set. Tough running there. That's a hard earn four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Now a play fake. Rodgers. He'll drop it off to McCaffrey. And he'll get it down here to the 43. It'll be a pickup of just two. And that's going to lead to a third down. And this offense on third down today, not quite 50%. Four for nine. This is third and four. Working from the gun, Rodgers. And Street's got it complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. On second down, here's Rodgers. Street's got it complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. Rodgers now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. On the ground, McCaffrey. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. And 
he'll go on the ground. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Sometimes. play calls boil down to philosophy you know you're facing one of the top 10 units against the run in the nfl so do you decide to keep smashing against them or do you decide to throw the ball here a field goal would get them the lead but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down it's to throw it's rogers and it's caught touchdown in for the score and his guys are able to strike for six No going for two. They'll kick the point after. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is up to five. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for up here at back because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Foul. Face mask. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. after a gain of only a couple. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? And they'll run it here. And they'll stop him right on the midfield strike. Back-to-back one-yard runs here, so that leaves him with a third down at eight. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed him down on that run, can they continue? Looking for Green, and it's intercepted. T.J. Green with a pick. Oh, a nice spin. And now running right through it. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. And here now the offense heading back out there. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And a nice little quick spin move before he's dropped. And a pretty good game. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there, about to break a big one. Incomplete. Thanks, little trigger.
happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. They'll give it up to McCaffrey, and he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. I like the look that they just showed there. When you come out in a passing formation, spread things out a little bit, makes it really hard to cover the middle of the field, doesn't it? Because yeah. you got to go out to the perimeter and cover those guys. Yep, exactly. Got some good blocking, too. Helped him pick up the first. Welcome back live to Orlando. As we've got the final quarter upon us, we get ready to start the fourth. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Steps away to his left. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion, or even worse, an interception. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Four touchdown passes now for Aaron Rodgers. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. Well, this is really simple. Let's just say it. This quarterback is on fire. Touchdown after touchdown throwing the football. What a day for him. Point after here coming up. Point after right down the middle. And it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the 8. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Neutral zone infraction, defense. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. Ready, watch the back. Now Winston. Fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. They'll get a couple yards on that one, and that'll bring up second down. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Jameis to throw it. Quick hitter here is complete. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. It'll be a pickup of four. Good enough to earn him yet another first down. Winston now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Ready. Blue now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Neutral zone infraction. Defense. So they got him coming up from his linebacker spot. And sometimes the position designation really doesn't matter. If you creep up to the line of scrimmage, you just have to look for the football. Make sure it moves before you do. They will come up on a first and five following the encroachment penalty. Now they'll run on the ball. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. 
No gain there on first and five, and it leaves him with a more standard second down. They run a draw here on second down. And three yards there takes him to the 45. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. To throw, Winston. He's got his man here, it's Green. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Here's Winston. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Eight yards in the completion, but now they face third down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be from 56 yards out. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. So possession goes over here on the punt. Those really long field goals, when they are made, they are things of beauty, but there is a danger to getting them started, isn't there? Yeah, with that low drive, you've got to really keep it low to the ground, don't you, to get that distance. Yeah, hard to just pop it up in the air, because otherwise it's not going to get there. So he's got to drive it low in order to have the distance, and that usually puts it in jeopardy, gives him a chance to block it, and everyone knows it on the other side. That's when you get your best jumpers on the other side of the field to try and get up and get it. Throwing is Rodgers. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. Oh, and now he bowls him over. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. They'll run with McCaffrey. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Let's go, let's go, come on. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. Hey, check 26. That's fine, yeah. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He's got the hook up here on the comebacker, complete. And he's got this down to the 35. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Here we go. Hey, let's go. Come on. Hey, check 26. Four down, four down. 319. 
Rodgers to throw on second down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Another nice pickup through the air. And I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Here's Rodgers. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. Here's Rodgers to throw on second down. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Boy, you will not see a quarterback of his caliber miss on one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot. And he misfires. We talk about, boy, he'll want that one back all the time. He definitely wants that one back. Rodgers now on third and goal. This will be caught just inside the 10. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 9. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop, but that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything, so it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be fielded at the eight. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Bengal offense now gets set to head back out onto the field. So first and 10 now from the 30. Ready. On first down, they'll run it on the draw play. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. After that incompletion, I almost get the sense that he's going to look up at the booth and, and kind of look at us and say, hey, you guys got any suggestions? It's been that kind of game, hasn't it? They've had him on the run throughout. Yeah, and I get that you're trying to make a play here losing fourth quarter, but to throw when you're not set with pressure coming could have been an interception. Very much so, and it's been that kind of game for him. They've had him on the run, had him off balance. He's got to find a way to make some big-time throws down the stretch. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. And I think we'll probably see him go for it here on fourth down. No reason not to. Down a couple of scores. They have to try and make something good happen. Desperation time. Winston on fourth down. And it is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. So still over three minutes remaining in this game, but boy, not getting that when that hurt. That's a little bit demoralizing, so they have to be careful about that because still have an opportunity if they can get some things done on defense. But now, since they've taken over on downs, a team with the ball, guess what? Going to four-minute offense, maybe they... And it's caught. Touchdown. Aaron Rodgers on fire, his fifth touchdown pass of the ball game. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go.
And a pause in the action because the booth, they see something that they want to take another peek at to find out if this was a touchdown or not. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead opens up now to 22 points. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the eight. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Now this Bengals offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned into six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Throwing again. Winston on second and 10. To the left side here for Eifert. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal. Because everything was right. Got the completion. But he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target. Incomplete. They had enough yards for the first down, but a clutch hit right there defensively. Jars it free. No first down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And oh, Jameis intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 39. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because oh, here we are in December. Season of giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake, after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. And it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. Time for a break. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. And on the ground they go with the running back. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. 
I think what we just saw there, partner, was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. And this will be touched by a member of the kicking team inside the 20, and it's at the 17-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Green with a catch left side. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Winston now to throw on first down. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. His big tight end, Tyler Eifert, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball. He's going to fail set. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 45. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. Just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirt. Yeah, he better figure, whatever the reason is, he better figure it out. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there because trying is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize that it's broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try and pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. So long, everybody.